Hi, it's Matt Dolby again, and I'm back with a, another review. Although this time it's not of a film, uh, it's of a dance piece. Um, just to, to make some general comments about reviews, I don't want Santiago's Dead Media to be just uh, reviews. And in particular, given how much of it there is on the internet, I don't want it to be just reviews of films. Um, I'd hoped to be able to do more things that were, were not reviews, but uh, it's been difficult finding the time to um, see stuff, to uh, write things if, if, if it's something that, that really needs uh, properly structuring. And, and so it hasn't been possible to date to do that as, mu as much as I'd like. Um, but this one is, uh, is, is, is of a dance piece. Um, it was a piece called Black, White, Grey um, from Boy Blue Entertainment and that was on at, at home here in Manchester. It originated, I believe, at the Barbican. They had uh, around 10 days there in January and then it was here in Manchester for three days from 9th to 11th of February. Um, so, before I get into it, there's some uh, disclaimers to get out of the way. I don't see as much dance, um, certainly as much dance live as I would like. Uh, my interests are, are more in contemporary dance than in, than in classical dance, but when it comes to uh, hip-hop dance, which is, is what this was, that's not something that I'm I know very much or anything uh, about in particular. Um, the other thing uh, is I yeah I, I I I see dance live much less often than than I see theatre live, which I see less than I I would see gigs or performances or or even uh, poetry readings. Um, that's a shame. I'd like to see more dance, I'd like to see more live art, I'd like to see more theatre. Um, so, with those disclaimers out of the way, uh, I, I didn't know very much about this particular dance. Um, I, I didn't know anything about the, the, the troupe. Uh, I didn't know anything about, uh, as I say, hip-hop dance. Um, so what I was expecting, or what I was worried it might be, was uh, some awful kind of Britain's Got Talent thing where you'd have uh, very skilled people, but you'd have essentially just a, a, a lot of uh, sort of flashy street dance moves. You'd have uh, kind of mass people doing synchronised things, uh, you'd have lots of flips and leaps and standing on hands, lots of things that were very showy and and clever, but weren't particularly interesting in and of themselves beyond that kind of physical spectacle. And and physical spectacle doesn't interest me in theatre or dance. Um, it, you know, I don't find them there to be anything inherently impressive uh, about that. Um, that wasn't what I got. What, what, what we got was a very uh, legitimate dance piece. It, it had been thought out, choreographed, um, structured, and there were some really good uh, low-key moments and some good controlled um, sort of smaller or slower movements um, but that's that's getting slightly uh, ahead of where I want to be but but you know it, it wasn't it, it wasn't what my worst expectations uh, led me to to fear it might be um, when I arrived at, at, at the theatre there were a lot of young people huge amount of young people and a very mixed um, mixed audience uh, in terms of uh, 
probably slightly more women than men and a, a, a whole mix of, of races um, lots, lots of people of, of different ethnicities which is unusual a lot of things you go to and they're very and then quite a range of ages as well um, a lot of stuff you go to at the theatre or even if you're going to gigs or, or poetry readings what you'll find is that on the whole it's it's middle class white people sort of on the whole from their mid twenties up to their up to their mid fifties or you know if it's cinema or theatre the age will skew slightly higher um, but it's it's a very with with you know sort of mainstream or or even relatively uh, quote alternative um, gigs cinema theatre it, it it tends to skew white um, middle brow um, as I say twenties to fifties skewing slightly older for for things like theatre and not particularly diverse this was sort of the most diverse audience I've seen and a huge crowd and it has to be said they were incredibly enthusiastic um, there were there, there were people applauding um, and, and they gave them a, a, they gave the group a, a standing ovation at the end uh, and, and there were you know, there were young men there that I wouldn't normally expect to see in in a theatre at all, and 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 young women as well. So, um, preamble out of the way and occupying a huge amount of time, um, seven goddamn minutes. Uh, the dance itself, it it was apparently, uh, and I really only picked us up from the title and from looking at the write-up uh, both on the home website on the uh, the Boy Blue website and, and from the Guardian Review it was in three sections uh, black, white, grey the first section um, was the first part up to the break and the, the second two uh, sections were were after the break, I think. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were. And the first half... The first half, I thought, was kind of literal. It, it's, it was fairly obvious what they were trying to say and in terms of in terms of the staging in terms of the of some of the movements that were being used in terms of the way the lights were working and um, the, the sort of what I guess you'd call the dramaturgy of it it had a kind of whiff of school production now don't get me wrong the dancing was very high quality, it was very good, very controlled these are immensely skilled performers um, and I, I'm, I'm I know that the uh, the people who, who, who lead Boy Blood Entertainment, who, who choreograph these dances are very highly regarded I just found it kind of a bit Literal and a bit obvious, and as as my my sister said, and, and who has uh, experience of of learning dance and acting, and who has acted and, and performed on stage and has taught dance and, and teaches teaches fitness. Her her word was 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 puerile, and I can, I, I think that's. That's fairly fairly accurate description. It was essentially about 
um, being trapped about identity, about people's perception of you, and about trying to break out of those uh, those those boundaries that people place on you, or that you feel at least you feel people place on you, and that is something that. That I think most people can recognise. It's certainly something that I uh, have noticed in, in, in the past. I remember something I've mentioned on, on previous occasions was when I went away to Cardiff to university, uh, I deliberately went there for a year before I, before I came back home just to make sure that I'd got a clean break and that I was established there. And when I came back to visit home, I found that people were talking to the image of me that they had. And it was like, it was this very spooky, consistent experience of having this ghost self between me and the other person. And they were addressing this perception of me that they had, which was not quite who I was now and it was ver- that, that was a very noticeable disjunction and, and that kind of uh, experience played into this as well as sort of the more obvious barriers the way that the way that young black men are treated the way that young women are treated um But it, it it felt fairly it felt fairly obvious. In the second half, things felt slightly better staged. There, there seemed to be more more thought and more variety, and there was more use of props. Although the props didn't really. They weren't really used as much as they 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 could have been, or as interestingly as they as they could have been. Um, case in point, there was a long uh, cloth uh, brought on, which was then draped around one of the dancers, and it, it was used to pose, and it was in a very rich red, and and reading. Uh, the account in the Guardian, including some quotes uh, from an interview, it, it's clear that that had something to do with uh, the, uh, the 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 choreographer discovering more about his ancestry and and being able to trace that back to to Egypt and Egypt, and there was ideas of, of kingship and leadership. Um, within that and and you could see that but in terms of the dance not really very much was made of the cloth it was brought on it was laid down at the back it was draped around him it was then removed in a couple of stages Uh, it was then picked up once or twice and then and then it was gone. It really played no role, and there was no, there was no imaginative play with it. There was no, nobody uh, getting wrapped in it. Nobody getting unwrapped in it. And nobody hiding behind it. It wasn't being shaken or woven about. It wasn't being thrown around. Um, there was nobody going under it. Um, it wasn't being used elsewhere on the stage for other, other purposes. So it, 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 it wasn't integrated, it was there briefly, and there didn't seem to be uh, any reason why a similar thing couldn't have been done with, say, a bit of costume, like a, uh, like a toga or, or a shirt or, or some similar piece of clothing that could have been worn and then could have been... Uh, unwrapped and used just like this this larger piece of cloth there were also some some masks uh, that, that came down from the ceiling which were, were were sort of pale 
I'm beginning to think now from, from what I've read that they were perhaps meant to represent uh, ancestors, the idea of, of your uh, heritage, your past what they looked like were, were just a, a lot of shapeless old old white people until the point when the, the main lights went down and the black light came on and the the makeup on them made them sort of look like the the, the makeup painted on them made them look like uh, tribal masks and you could see the paint on the dancers as well and that was that was interesting but again there wasn't a great deal of integration between the masks and the dancers it wasn't clear uh, exactly what they were about I mean my my sister again was sort of going well that one looks a bit like Donald Trump um, maybe that's one of Hitler and you know trying to find some significance and it wasn't it wasn't immediately clear and it might have been clearer had they either looked more like tribal masks or had the, the black light been on kind of immediately so you could kind of see what was trying to be done maybe there was trying to be a, a, a duality maybe they were meant to look like judgmental old old white folk I don't know uh, you know this was a problem with this this, the, the, this sort of two parts in the second half they were sort of more visually if not cohesive or unified, at least there seemed to be sort of more purpose and variety and and some direction, even though it was less clear what that was. Um, but again, the dancing was impressive, and I I certainly enjoyed those later stages more than the first part, and and particularly I I kind of enjoyed the. The third section where the dancing got much, uh, much freer. Um, there was a definite uh, movement from very confined in the first half to in the in this the first part of the second half, the, the, the second part of the piece. Um, people being moved, um, dancers being moved about. Although it wasn't always clear, they. they it never quite established either that someone was moving independently with people holding on to them or that they were being moved by the other dancers it, it really didn't quite do what it seemed to want to do um, but you know there was slightly more liberty in the, then in the third section it seemed very much freer but it was it was less obvious quite what was being said um, I mean on the whole i'm I'm glad I saw it I'm particularly glad that I saw a style of dance that i I'm not as familiar with uh, and certainly the, the technical aspects of the dancing and, and the choreography were were absolutely fine it was just that i I felt there was a slight there were some slight problems ranging from sort of over obviousness to um, not entirely clear and, and sort of slightly confused staging um, you know the choreography didn't seem to be as interesting as it, as it perhaps could have been um, there are a few other little little bits and pieces that that, that I noticed and, and and wanted to comment on, which don't really affect uh, the quality of the dance or the the, the experience at all. Um, but but I thought were were interesting and worth worth noting. One thing was that the the basic um, starting position, the position that people were going dancers were going into and coming out of. Uh, and and returning to was much more of a a kind of wide legged uh, stance, kind of thing that had some affinity with 
uh, with martial arts, and there were some very definite m- moves and postures that were quite clearly drawn from martial arts and weren't necessarily integrated into the dance. Um, now, I don't know if this kind of wide legged dance is particularly characteristic of of hip hop dance or of this group in particular, or if it was just something uh, from this piece. But that was that was noticeable. It was less. It, it it was upright, but it wasn't with legs as quite as close together as you'd uh, expect from the sort of uh, contemporary dance that you often see, and and from the sort of training uh, that I have, I didn't I didn't ever really train as a dancer properly. I did a a brief um, period of study of contemporary dance, and so I, I got some things about posture and about cooling down and about um, being aware of your your body but um, you know I, I was by no means a, a a trained dancer at any at any stage um, so that that was one thing another thing was one of the dancers in particular but actually quite a number of the men were were quite defined one of them was noticeably very bulky and large and muscled and that that surprised me and it surprised me perhaps more than it should have um, but it, it it seemed unusual it seemed odd that that, that would be the shape that a dancer would have I could, I could um, perfectly well cope with um, a, a sort of fat or overweight dancer that wouldn't surprise me in the slightest obviously everyone is also seen very small and slender dancers but someone with large and effectively mostly aesthetic muscles seemed a bit odd because I, I, I'm aware that very often that sort of musculature can reduce your flexibility it can certainly give you put you at risk of quite easily straining your muscles and it, it seemed an unusual frame um, for a dancer to have, but then quite a lot of the, the, the male dancers were really quite absurdly toned, um, although not quite that, that that large. So that 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 also uh, kind of <laughs> kind of stood out. Um, in the first section, there the although a lot of the movements were very controlled and within a tight. Um, space the the costumes that they were wearing for that opening section looked sort of a bit like if you'd designed a jacket to to look a bit like a straight jacket or or like a kind of padded uh, martial arts top that you might wear for doing something like uh, like kendo um, or like uh, a kind of fabric version of the armour that the terracotta army wear. Um, the point is, it seemed quite hot. Um, it looked like it would be quite uncomfortable and, and hot to wear, I think, and, and to an extent physically restrictive. And there weren't a lot of large expansive and, and fast movements in, in that section although they, they were slightly more toward the end um, and, and then later in, in later on there were sort of people wearing um, sort of uh, slight like puffer jackets which again seemed somewhat unnecessarily um, hot so, so that, that was uh, that was quite striking um, and I think that's more or less everything. Um, if you, if you have an interest in uh, in hip hop dance, if you have an interest in this particular group, um, or if you just you know want to see something that you you you're not familiar with. I would like to recommend this, but I, as far as I know, it's finished. I don't know that there are any further shows after 
after Manchester, and the last one was at the time of recording this yesterday. Um, it might be worth looking up to see if um, it will be it will move on elsewhere, or if there are any recordings of it. Um, it was tremendously well received. People did love it. People liked it much more than I did. Um, I was glad I saw it, and I would quite happily go to see another uh, hip hop dance piece if, if if that came along. Um, you know, it's it's just I felt there were some some areas that, that that could have been improved. But you know, be aware that I'm speaking from the point of view of someone who's not a trained dancer. Uh, who isn't familiar with hip hop dance? Who doesn't go to see dance pieces as much as I'd like? I, you know, there's a few things that I watch on on, on YouTube, but it, seeing seeing something live is very different. So I, I'm speaking from a point of view of of someone who's not familiar with this genre, who's not a dancer. Um, so you know, from a position really of uh, utter utter ignorance and uh, yeah that's all I have to say on that Um, wow bringing it in under half an hour for once okay so uh, see you soon bye